What's up guys, it's your boy, I'm Shahani, back with another video. I haven't done this kind of videos in a long time. I decided that since it's off season, it's time for me to bring back this, I don't know what you call it, but me talking to you, one on one kind of thing. Sort of, obviously I didn't plan what I want to talk about. Now Alberic Nigata has just won the S League 2017 title and they're possibly going to win the Singapore Cup and they won the League Cup. So you know, it's, it, it's we're gonna win the treble. We're gonna win the treble. So Alberic Nigata has been going on a roll for the past two years. They won all the titles last season. They're going to win the, all the titles this season. Now I've got a question here. Would Alberic be winning all the titles if they actually had to go to the AFC Cup like extra other competitions that Home United and Tampines Rovers had but that aside I have no problems with Elbrex Nigata winning the S League because it's a good example of how a club should be run you know Elbrex Nigata looks like the most professional run club like in the S League ever I haven't seen the club that professional is Haugang the professional? no? yes? I... yeah all clubs should just follow them. No, instead of criticizing the FAS for bringing in Albrex Nigata as a foreign team and all this thing like, oh, another foreign team is just born. Damn you. Instead of saying that, now let's all just take what we can learn from Albrex and then implement them into our systems and clubs. Like, look at them. They're a foreign team that has closer community ties to the people in the area. And they have, of course, the backing of the Japanese community here in Singapore, which is quite huge if you ask me. On top of that, the professionalism of the players is also one of the factors that keeps them running like, you know, like, how do I describe this? There's a bird like outside my window. Go away! Shoot! Got rid of the damn bird there. So where was I? Instead of criticizing the FES or complaining why a foreign team is always winning the league, let's just think back, look back and, you know, try to understand why we can't beat them because if you ask me if we put in the same effort as them we can actually probably beat them and they probably don't want to play in the S League anymore and isn't that what you want? you don't want them to play in the S League right? honestly I'd rather just have them turn local really? yeah man if they turn local then I don't know you then right don't know get out of here okay no, but that's not the point the point is, we should just take whatever they have and put it into our clubs, put it into our systems, drill our youth that way, trying to be more professional, no more prata. Jangan kayu. I will see players over there eating. So yeah, that's all I have for today's video. I know it's stupid because I haven't done this in a long time and really because I'm just preparing for off season. The off season is the worst time for a content creator who, you know, relies on the S League season to, you know, Turn out videos because the next time you'll see a match day vlog will probably be a preseason match. She's probably closed doors because the coach doesn't want to reveal the tactics, which is probably why I can't film until the season starts. That is like FAS, you better release the schedules ASAP so I can plan out here. That's all for this video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe down below. Follow me on Instagram, it's at Amshahanif, links all below. I'm on Twitter, but my Twitter is a bit, it's not dead. I just like to rent a lot over there. And it's not necessarily football stuff. So if you want to follow, go ahead, follow. But follow me on Instagram, man. Stories is where it's at. You know, I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao. Okay, bye.